You know, setting up feeders, um, corn feeders and your free choice feeders, there's a lot that goes into that. It's not just go out and throw it up in a, in a field and think you're gonna have success. You're gonna pull something in, sure. But there are, I believe, situations where you can really use it to your benefit to make it easier to hunt and or create a sanctuary where you're not going into those areas. For me, what I like to do is find an area that I think is gonna be a great hunting spot. And we, we kind of walk around, we locate the spots for the stand. At the same time, we're looking at, you know, where's the nearest water source, where's the best place to put the feeders up in that area. Uh, be it a corn feeder or a free choice feeder, whatever it may be, and kind of create an area. That type of a scenario, I think, really pays to the benefit of your game management program and your attraction capabilities to an area. Um, the, the, your traditional corn feeder that you're gonna put up that goes off at whatever times that you set it to and whatever amount that you, you set it to is of high value in a lot of those situations to provide both supplemental feed, but once again, the attraction into those situations. The downside to those types of feeders is you can bring in some undesirables, cattle, hogs, sheep, depending on what's in that area. And if, if that is the case, then you need to learn how to fence that uh, feeder off. This is a perfect example of what I call a, you know, your Texas hunting pen, for lack of a better word, to protect your feeders uh, from the undesirable animals in a lot of cases. What we like to do, and you can see in this particular one here, is we're using a, a preset made of fencing that actually kind of goes together right here. You can slide it in. You don't have to drive T-posts at all. It already has really big, uh, basically a hog panel built into it, and then we'll cut areas into it to make it easier for the deer to jump in but we don't give up the ability to keep the hogs out keep sheep out and keep cattle out uh, which if you're doing a protein feeding program a free choice one like what we've got right here behind me using a boss buck feeder kevin's putting uh, record rack uh, pellets into it right now I mean, everything's drawn to that. Everything wants to eat it, and you don't want everything eating it. You don't want the hogs in there. You don't want the cattle in there. You don't want the sheep in there. And so a pen like this protects your investment and ensures that everything you're feeding is only going to the, to the deer or turkeys that are gonna fly over it in, in that situation. Next to that, we've got a corn feeder that we can crank up and down, set that as a timer uh, type situation. That's an attractant uh, in, in that sense there. It goes off at seven, it goes off however many times you want it, whatever time that you want to set it based on, on the scenario. We usually set ours between seven and 7.30 in the morning and four and five in the evenings. Occasionally throw some midday timers in for, for turkeys as well to kind of supplement them. And then we'll throw a, a, a record a rack deer block in the middle of this as well about every time we go out because that kind of adds to the attractiveness, adds uh, to the, you know, the nutritional value that all of our game are getting in here. And the end result is we're, we're basically basically creating a buffet for the deer and we're protecting it uh, by having a fence around here. A lot of people will go out with T-posts and hog wire or bob wire and it's a lot of manual labor to do that. And what I found using those type, and we have some of those, but what I found with those type of pins, uh, they, they get damaged. The cattle will jump them, they'll lean over and push it down. Uh, they don't make them big enough in a lot of cases and they end up failing long term. So a scenario like this with the proper tools will I believe pay off a lot better in the long run uh, for your nutritional goals for helping your whitetail herd.